Hey guys, it's your Uncle Kleine coming to you again with another video, and this time it's on some stuff I got from evike.com. I'm honestly surprised that I was, apparently my channel was big enough to draw the attention of a company like this. Uh, they deal mostly in airsoft stuff, but they are now selling the CETAs on their website along with the ammo and some of the parts you go with them. Um, we're going to get to the CETA in a minute, but we're going to go over some of the other stuff that they sent to me in the package. First off, they sent this uh, really nice hat that's uh, a normal hat but it's got the the fuzzy on it for your tactical stuff which I thought was really really cool because you know honestly I don't have a lot of tactical gear to hang stuff up so it'd be nice to have something I can actually wear it's got some kind of tactical to it they sent a couple of neat little patches uh, I have to admit that uh, I really like the little evike tactical one here and this gun thing's pretty cool the gun's pretty cool uh, this guy, however, is absolutely adorable. I have no idea what he is, and I'm pretty sure my niece will steal it from me as soon as she sees it. So I'm guarantee you I'm not going to bother to try to put that on any of my tack gear stuff, although he is super cute little hamster thing. They also gave me uh, a t-shirt, which was unfortunate, because it's one of the things that can tell they must not watch my channel. Either somehow they just got me picked up or somebody recommended me because the t-shirt is awesome with all this gear and companies and stuff that they sell on here, which is really slick. Unfortunately, it's also a large, so uh, I could use it as a, as a scrub brush. Uh, I could blow my nose on it, but I, I can't wear it as a t-shirt because uh, I couldn't get one of my man nipples inside of a large shirt, so... I'll probably have to do something with this, turn it into a wall hanger, which I'd like to get some of my old shirts back up, or some of the other stuff they do, like you know, turn them into blankets and things like that, which is actually, uh, I have a um, family member that does that. Um, one of the more interesting things that was in there were these little metal targets. And uh, I'm actually really, <laughs> really impressed with these things. They're aluminum, and they're... Uh, made quite well. My, my dad had and me had some out uh, I was picking them off with a BB gun. They're made to all look like cans or different various sodas. The edges are admittedly a little sharp on the back half probably because they're pressed in but they retail on the site for about four dollars a pop and no, no pun intended and I'm really impressed with them. The, the aluminum is heavy decent and it's there's just not much to say about targets, but they're good. I mean, they're just nice, solid, nice, solid aluminum targets. I'm sure with an airsoft or BB gun or paintball, they're going to last you probably pretty much forever with very little damage to them. However, with the BB guns that we uh, shot at them, not so much. Uh, the, the BBs tend to ricochet and bounce around in the... Uh, Pellets uh, from some of my dad ones did do some number bending and flaking them up pretty good, but then it is one of the high-powered ones. And along with the CETA, I also got a box of blasters, uh, a box of uh, short darts from, uh, this says jet blasters, accuracy, velocity, and let's not, not kid ourselves, they're the nipple tip ones, the old nipple tip darts. And the problem with them is the same thing the old nipple tip ones have is that they just kind of pop loose. Same thing with the old AC, Accu darts and ACs. They just, they come off and there wasn't much, wasn't much to it. I mean, they, they just, they don't hold together worth a damn. A uh, quick bath of E6000 will fix that. I like to use E6000. It doesn't mess with it and it sets relatively quickly, but uh, I personally like these dart heads. I just like worker because either way, I gotta glue workers back together too. These are still well, either one. I mean, I, my velocities are shot on either one. But what I really like to get was more of these, and they're the ones that come with the uh, seat itself. But uh, I'll, more on that maybe some other time if I ever do a, a dart to dart comparison. Now. The CETA model I acquired in my, uh, luckily enough, adventure was actually put together for me in one big kit. Uh, my kit is a bit different than the other ones. I did get a CETA S, but I had gotten a red dot sight to go on top of it and a nice uh, stock, which was not 
part of it. So when you get your CETA, if you order one, and the price on them wasn't so bad. I mean, they're about, um, about 100 bucks. The CETA S here doesn't come like this in stock form. You have a different, different stock on the back of it to there. And I honestly think it, it makes this look a lot nicer. Uh, and for being a short guy, it's still, a little, I'm, I'm five foot one, as you guys all know. It's still a little long for me to use. And you get it up here. Now, the starring role of the CETA versus the Dart Zorn Pro and stuff like that was their one main idea was we want to be able to build something that you can work on. Well, the first CETA I had to play with at uh, APOC a couple of years ago, and when it was handed to me, the words shitty Busby plastic came to mind. I was not impressed. I was horrified at the price tag and the creaky, squeaky thing that was handed to me with this horrid, shiny paint on it. It was just miserable, and I, I did not like the performance. I couldn't get over the feel. I mean, Christ, the Kenner, a Kenner crossbow squeaked less than that thing did. And that, I mean, that was pitiful. Pitiful. And they corrected a lot of that with this, with this guy here. With this guy here, I'm as impressed. They actually even added a nice, uh, what they're calling it the Zero, but it's, uh, uh, what do we call them? It's one of those, one of our uh, scar barrels put inside there, our combination scar uh, uh, Merlin uh, props to Cartea, the freaking master of, master of pistols. The spring weight on here is good. It primes through quite well. And... I got safety on. Get that back off here. There we go. Now, their whole thing about this was their takedown. So if you're basically made to fix your blaster, uh, and we're going to switch over to the view here, and we'll show you what I'm talking about and make it a lot easier. So we're going to give my uh, seat a try here and hand the thing around and see who's going to have some fun with it. To your public opinion on that. A quality blaster that somebody should be selling. It doesn't feel homemade. It doesn't feel thrown together. Um, yeah, overall, I like it. Nice Ergo. Now, we did have some problems earlier with that. Exactly how many darts did we pull out of that thing? Salt on the salt of the precinct up here. Yeah, now we'll pass it off to somebody else and see what they say. All right. See what they think about it. So this Who is Josh the... from uh, uh, BC Han. Uh, he's been using for the first time. He's been using my uh, my uh, C to S. Josh, uh, how does it, how does the C to S feel? Plastic quality is good. Um, the breach, though, for some reason, keeps popping out. Yeah, of place. Say, yeah. Just gonna say, tell me what has been going on with this thing so far today. 
breach has been popping out. Uh, we've taken it apart twice so far and have managed to only get 30 darts to go through it yep. in an hour and a half. Yeah, the first, I had two darts go through it the next one. And we're gonna hand it off to somebody else. We're gonna have somebody else try it. And we're gonna get their opinion on it, see what's going on with the seat here too. All right. So as you can see from the video, uh, well, there were some problems with this thing. Uh, I like the full, but tell you what, why don't we just give you my opinions and we can see what we're going for here. So, see the itself S model with its extra pieces and its new paint job and setup and the way it's built. Uh, feels solid. I like the way it shoots when I'm outside shooting around. And it seems to function very well. I am very happy that I got one. I am happy that they fixed some of the stuff and the gripes that people had with them. However, I can't recommend you buy one, at least on the one that I got. I don't know if my model was a problem or what the deal is, but I ended up, I spent more time during the night trying to fix it to get it back on track, get it reloaded, get it to stop jamming. Uh, when I did switch out to worker darts, it did work better, but I still encountered plenty of jams. It just would not function, and that when it jumped off the track, the bolt slide would jump off track, and it took five, ten minutes to try to get it back on, and then another five minutes to get it to close properly, because it wasn't closing. Even if you had everything lined up, it still wouldn't close, and then it might not even rack, which was a real issue. Uh, if I had paid for this there would have been a royal storm coming down the pipe for this thing because this uh, apparently anything on this the payment of the money that I would have that I just spent for all the way this thing is set up on here if I had paid for it that it would have been inexcusable totally inexcusable for anything to come like that they'd have to make a rectification of it but as it did I didn't pay for it so all I can do is just recommend that uh, based on mine, if other people have had theirs, fine. But I cannot give the CETA a uh, recommendation. I would say give the Dart Pro a chance and see what the Dart Pros do. Or just build yourself a decent homemade primary. Or wait till Hasbro eventually comes out with their version of whatever short darts and stuff are. Because uh, it's it's coming. It, 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 you know, it's all coming, so whatever. But... Uh, it is a shame that mine was such a problem. And if you guys have any opinions or anything like that or questions that you would like to know, uh, please uh, like, share, subscribe, and drop your question down below. Uh, don't forget that your Uncle Clowney is always open for things like that. And you can check out uh, my store at Containment Crew and check those guys out for your, all your parts and pieces and maybe a clowny patch in there wouldn't be such a bad idea. But until then, guys, remember, clowny's watching. Peace.